Hello everyone, it's Wild Farmer 6710. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to a very windy day 75 on the big 132 model farm diorama display. So there's a lot of tractor run preparations going on for the Christmas tractor runs. And um, as you can see, the digester is open. And also Adrian has been busy this week doing a few modifications to get the Merlot ready for the winter time. So he's been doing a few little um, add-ons to that which is kind of nice so we'll show you that later on and um, yeah as it's winter there's not much field work going on but with that being said we'll get into it there's plenty going on so start off at PJ's farm for the first time in a long time PJ is actually not around um, he's actually gone shopping today got, got to do a bit of Christmas shopping so he's got out to the big smoke there and he's <laughs> Got to get a few Christmas presents in. He's actually doing it quite early this year. He usually leaves it to last minute, but he's gone off there into the big smoke. First time in a long time, I'd say, from in many years. But uh, no, he has all the tractors all parked up safely, the gates all locked, and um, 7810 uh, JCB Teddy Porter all parked up, and the rest is all the same since last episode. The little uh, the two little Massies, the 690 and the 590 are parked in there. And the 1200 Massey is parked in the grain store, along with the same, everything else is the same, in the big shed. Moving on down the road, we have a lovely Ford TW15, which I haven't seen before now. Looks like it's just after getting re-sprayed. And um, that's hauling a load of dung with the Red Rock grain trailer lovely big, big straight pipe exhaust on it a uh, big chrome pipe um, but you don't really see many of the TWs working nowadays but he's drawn into Adrian's field so he is drawn another load of dung and uh, that should be enough dung for him to spread on the fields um, Adrian's son has popped down in the case 195 CVX and the low loader and he's picking up the eight ton digger. As uh, they were doing a bit of a job here over the over the last few weeks there, put up fencing and put up a new gateway and the other little jobs. So and they've also faced back a lot of the hedges, which is a nice job. Um, so he's moving that digger back to the yard. Over the Finbar's farm. Not much going on, he's about to go walk up the mountains, so he is, to um, check on the sheep and go for a bit of a walk, check on the mountains and stuff. So he's not busy as you know, but he's just living life. Um, on the main road here, there's a very busy man here doing a bit of road sweeping, get a bit of money, get a bit of money for the Christmas period. He's only a young lad, so he's doing this on the weekends after school and stuff. So. Um, nice to see a young lad there, nice Ford 6 Ford head with the AP cab and a empty sweeper box. Go by Michael and James contracting the yard as you can see here. We have a lovely class Aryan 640 hooked onto a 3,500 slurry cat. Um, he's going to shift a bit of slurry I think. I don't know if he'd be spending on the land in this weather, but he's going off with a tanker anyway, so he must be doing something. Over here in James and Michael's yard, not much really going on. The digger is in the same spots as last episode, and it probably will be till the new year, till it gets put onto a new a new site or a new job. Um, same goes for the low loader. Um, the Case and the John Deere 7010 are back from the Christmas tree contract. So... I think they're out for two or three weeks there on the Christmas trees, moving the trees um, as the Christmas tree farm hire in tractors to do it. And the lads they got last year didn't want to do it anymore, so they got in James and Michael, which are a bit closer by, which is a bit handier for them. Um, but yeah, they're back there now and they're just cleaning everything out of the cab has got their mucky. And they're actually getting the tractors ready for the Christmas tractor runs. So that's what they're going to be spending today doing. Um, 
tractor, clean out tractors, put a few lights on them and get ready for next week. Because there's a few big tractor runs on. Move or, moving over into the digester, the AD plant. Um, the 416 is back from the cousin's place. Uh, as I may have told you before, James and Michael have an agreement with their cousin that um, basically the cousin uses the JCB during the winter time uh, slash autumn uh, when they're not using it for silage to load up timber on the sawmill or, and onto lorries. So he's kind of done with it there now and um, James and Michael are able to use it now for the digester but they kind of wish to handle it a bit sooner as they have a lot of silage to move. So they might think about getting a new loan truck or a second hand one. Uh, for parliament or to be used full time there in the AD plant as they're kind of a bit behind but look I have a big bucket on the 416 there so should be able to fly through it um, and then there's a few of the tyres there in the Brown dump trailer McCormick MTX175 another hedge cutting contractor there with a cool hedge cutter don't see many of them about and he's just heading home there now, he's had a handy little job there today, only took two or three hours and he's heading home, he has his money made. Moving on over into the town, there's definitely a bit of a festive spirit in the town, a lot of Christmas trees are up in the church and a lot of Christmas lights are up around the pub and the chipper and restaurants, so it's nice to see the lights all about. But um, JC419, I think that's David and Nigel, so it is, if you remember from uh, the previous model farm series, that's the JC419S. And um, there's a lovely 8560 New Holland coming through the town with a Herb stone cart. Um, he must have got a bit of work done on the stone cart, it's actually freshly re sprayed. So, more luck to him. Moving down the road here, coming past Adrian's farm, we have a Fant 724 and a Red Rock 4000 gallon. Now you may be wondering what's on the front, well, as far as I know, it's actually a spray bar for spraying onto the roads and washing the roads. So, it's a nice little piece of kit, so it is. And the tank at the back actually has the water in it. So, uh, that washes the roads in front of the the tarmac machine if they're redoing the roads or whatever so it'll have it nice and clean for when or the, the most need are very wet for when it's going into the machine but that's as far as I know but a uh, nice little outfit there and it's nice to see something different as well a bit of um, industrial work here we have a lovely Sammy Galaxy Adrian Sammy um, and that's on the hedge cutter at the moment, packed up, but um, they're doing a bit of work here on the Dooney dump trailer. They're fixing a few lights and stuff, as they won't get time after the new year, they're starting a big job, so they're making sure everything they won. That goes for the other Dooney dump trailer as well. Um, the fed, the big fed is packed up, first time in a while. It actually needs a wash on those, as that's going to be going to the Christmas tractor runs as well. Well, as I was saying, Adrian has done a bit of work there during the week to his Marlow. Uh, he's really liking the Marlow now, with plenty of power in it and it's a good bit of torque in it as well. But um, as you may notice first first of all, there's a new LED light bar on it. As you can see, which is three work lights. And uh, they actually are a good job. And also he painted the tyres, or he painted the wheels I meant to say, they were fairly rusty now and they it, it looked bad and he kind of wanted to put them back to grey so he did. So he done that, he put a beacon on as you can see on the roof. And he also put a, a new exhaust on it which ended up being a straight pipe so it's fairly loud I have to say. You can definitely hear it when you're in the town or over there in the get a chipper or something you can definitely hear the barlow there but uh no everything's working on it lights and everything so he's very happy and he'll be able to feed 
during the evening star when it's getting very dark. Well, at the moment, Adrian is just putting a load of signage into the cows there now, so they're happy out. And here we have a new Holland T7 2 tan on a triple axle K low loader. Now you may wonder what's on the back of the low loader. Well, the heap of scrap is on it basically. The Vlog Cavarla mower where the bed got, got destroyed and the mower is pretty much rolled off. Um, it got a few parts taken off, but other than that, but that's ready for the scrapyard. There's an old tree furrow Cavarla plow there, an old tank of a Schaefer sprayer and an old hardy sprayer there, so rotted out, so that's last stuff for gold for the scrapyard and I suppose your man is thinking of getting a bit of money there for the Christmas period as well as cleaning out the yard, so hopefully he gets a nice bit of money there coming into the new year. Over here at Adrian's outer farm, not much really, as you know in last episode he moved the Karatsu PC-130 there into the shed as he didn't really want to lay around the yard there wasn't much space so other than that nothing much has changed but uh, as a as a really it's just a, an outer yard for storing the machines and the straw so but that's about it on this side of the farm hopefully he's enjoyed so hopefully he's enjoyed the video guys but a bit of an eventful one and um, Looking forward to the Christmas tractor road next episode, so look forward to that. And also, if you haven't watched the previous video during the week there of the Christmas special details, please do. Um, I get your submissions in with the photos and videos and everything. So looking forward to seeing everyone's photos and videos in the Christmas special um, while I'm editing it. So no idea how long the video will be, but we'll only know when the video is released. So hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. Let me know guys what was your favourite part of the video in the comments below. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.